From Obscurity to Dominance, The Vanguard Success Story Vanguard is now one of the world's largest and most successful investment companies. But it wasn't always this way. In this video, we'll explore the incredible journey of Vanguard from its humble beginnings in 1975 to its status as a global financial powerhouse. We'll look at how Vanguard was able to rise from obscurity to become the giant it is today, as well as the lessons we can learn from its success. By the end, you'll have a better understanding of how Vanguard was able to achieve such remarkable success. Starting small, Vanguard was founded in 1975 by John C. Bogle, a Wall Street executive who was frustrated with the high fees and low returns of mutual funds at the time. Bogle believed that by creating a low-cost index fund that tracked the market, investors could achieve better long-term returns. However, the idea was not immediately popular. Vanguard started with only $11 million in assets under management and struggled to attract investors. But Bogle remained committed to his vision and began to promote the company's low fees and passive investing approach. Despite the slow start, Vanguard began to gain traction in the early 1980s as more investors began to see the benefits of index funds. By the end of the decade, Vanguard's assets under management had grown to over $50 billion and the company had become a leading player in the mutual fund industry. The success of Vanguard's low-cost index funds would eventually transform the industry and make it one of the largest and most influential asset management companies in the world. But it all started with a small idea and a determined founder who believed in the power of low-cost investing. A focused approach. When it comes to building a successful business, having a clear and focused strategy is key. Vanguard's success can be attributed, in part, to the company's unwavering commitment to its mission, to provide low-cost investment options to individual investors. From its early days, Vanguard made a deliberate decision to focus exclusively on index funds, a strategy that many experts dismissed as risky and unproven at the time. But Vanguard's founder, John Bogle, believed that by tracking the performance of the overall market, rather than trying to beat it through active management, investors could achieve superior returns over the long term. This singular focus allowed Vanguard to become a pioneer in the index fund industry and to build a reputation for providing high-quality investment products at a low cost. Today, Vanguard is the largest provider of mutual funds and the second-largest provider of exchange-traded funds, EDS, in the world, with over $7 trillion in assets under management. By staying true to its mission and avoiding the distractions of more complex investment products, Vanguard has been able to consistently deliver value to its customers and outperform its competitors. And as more investors have become aware of the benefits of low-cost index funds, Vanguard's approach has become increasingly popular and influential. Of course, a focused strategy alone is not enough to ensure success. It also requires strong leadership, smart decision-making, and a commitment to continuous improvement. But by starting with a clear and well-defined mission, Vanguard was able to build a foundation for growth and establish itself as a leader in the investment industry building a reputation. As Vanguard began to grow, the company's leadership recognized the importance of establishing a reputation for excellence in the investment industry. They wanted to become known for providing high-quality, low-cost investment options to their clients. To achieve this goal, Vanguard's leadership emphasized the importance of maintaining low fees, high transparency, and a strong commitment to investor education. They focused on developing a strong corporate culture that valued integrity, transparency, and putting the needs of investors first. Vanguard also built a reputation for innovation, regularly introducing new investment products and tools that helped clients meet their financial goals. For example, they introduced the first index mutual fund in 1976, a product that has become increasingly popular over time due to its low costs and potential for strong long-term returns. Over time, Vanguard's reputation for excellence in the investment industry has only continued to grow. The company consistently receives high marks from clients and industry experts alike for its low fees, exceptional customer service, and commitment to transparency and investor education. This strong reputation has helped to fuel Vanguard's growth, 
as investors continue to seek out low-cost, high-quality investment options. As a result, Vanguard has become one of the largest investment firms in the world, managing trillions of dollars in assets for millions of clients worldwide. Strategic Partnerships Vanguard's success can be attributed in part to its ability to forge strong strategic partnerships. From the outset, Vanguard established relationships with key players in the financial industry, such as banks and financial advisors, which helped to expand its reach and access to new markets. One of Vanguard's earliest strategic partnerships was with Charles Schwab in 1987. This partnership allowed Vanguard to offer its funds on Schwab's brokerage platform, increasing its distribution and access to potential investors. Other partnerships followed, including alliances with large financial institutions such as Merrill Lynch and Fidelity. Perhaps the most notable partnership in Vanguard's history was its agreement with MSCI in 2012. MSCI is a leading provider of investment decision support tools and services, and its partnership with Vanguard gave the asset manager access to MSCI's vast index products, helping to drive down costs and enhance its offerings for investors. Today, Vanguard continues to prioritize partnerships as a key driver of growth. In recent years, it has established relationships with technology firms such as BlackRock and State Street Global Advisors, as well as robo-advisors like Betterment and Wealthfront. These partnerships not only expand Vanguard's reach, but also help to strengthen its offerings and enhance its ability to meet the changing needs of investors. As Vanguard's chief investment officer, Greg Davis noted in a recent interview, we know that we can't do everything alone. Partnerships help us to offer the best possible solutions to our clients. In short, Vanguard's ability to cultivate strong strategic partnerships has been a critical factor in its success. By working closely with other key players in the financial industry, the asset manager has been able to expand its reach, access new markets, and deliver exceptional value to investors. Going global, while Vanguard's initial success was focused on the U.S. market, the company knew that it had to expand its reach to remain competitive in the long run. In 2000, Vanguard established its first international office in London, allowing the company to tap into the European market. In 2011, the company expanded further into the Asia-Pacific region by establishing a presence in Australia. Vanguard's global expansion has been methodical, with the company carefully choosing its target markets and adapting its strategies accordingly. In many cases, the company has entered new markets by partnering with local financial firms, allowing it to gain a foothold while leveraging the knowledge and expertise of its partners. Perhaps the key factor in Vanguard's global success has been its low-cost passive investment approach. This approach resonates with investors all over the world, regardless of the specific market conditions or cultural differences. As such, Vanguard has been able to achieve rapid growth in a wide variety of markets, including the UK, Australia, Canada, and more. Looking to the future, Vanguard plans to continue its international expansion, with a particular focus on emerging markets. These markets are ripe for investment, and Vanguard's reputation as a trusted provider of low-cost, high-quality investment products should serve it well. Ultimately, Vanguard's continued success will depend on its ability to adapt to the unique needs and demands of each new market it enters. However, if the company's past success is any indication, it is more than capable of rising to the challenge. The future of Vanguard As the financial world continues to evolve, Vanguard is positioning itself as a leader in providing innovative solutions for investors. One of the main areas of focus for the company moving forward is expanding its offerings in the realm of environmental, social, and governance, ESG investing. They have already launched several ESG-focused ETFs and mutual funds, and plan to continue expanding this lineup. Another area of growth for Vanguard is its expansion into new markets, particularly in Asia. The company recently launched its first mutual fund in China and has plans to continue building its presence in the region. Additionally, Vanguard is exploring opportunities in the retirement space, with plans to launch a suite of retirement-focused products and services. Overall, Vanguard's future looks bright as they continue to prioritize low costs, innovative solutions, and a focus on meeting the needs of their clients.
As they continue to grow and evolve, they will undoubtedly maintain their reputation as one of the most trusted and respected names in the financial industry. Vanguard has come a long way since its founding in 1975, and the numbers speak for themselves. As of 2021, Vanguard boasts over 30 million investors and manages more than $7 trillion in global assets. Its success is evident in its ability to attract investors from all walks of life, including individual investors, financial advisors, and institutional clients. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.